Alright guys, Rollout here and welcome back to another quick easy video tutorial sort of thing uh, This time we're just going to be going over kind of like smooth guitar drill Kind of experimenting with the sound instead of just, you know, doing the same thing every time And um, you know, just practicing the same thing until it gets kind of, you know We know how to do the drill stuff, we've done videos on the drill sound So let's experiment a bit with it and yeah, see what we can do So what I have here is a guitar, some roads, a check, pad, just call it pad, and voice, vocals, kick, kick away, hi hat, snare, crash, blah, blah 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 blah. You guys know the drill, and let's get into the beat. Now, first thing we're going to do is the roads, because that's basically our um, replacement for a piano here. And um, we're going to be using the A Aeolian scale. So a little bit softer than the harmonic minor stuff we're usually using. Um, so let's see. Okay, now with roads, you're wanting the velocity to be reasonably low um, because if you play it too high, this is what it sounds like. It sounds too harsh. Ever want a smooth beat? <laughs> like that. <laughs> what a horrible sound. So I keep this like this. See if we can add another chord on this, I mean another note on here. Sounds really kind of quite a sad kind of beat, but I'm not really going for sad, we're going for more emotional, but you know what? I guess I've been. Alright, we'll see. I mean we'll go with it. Um Let's put this on cell and it just makes some melodies really. Um, now with melodies, I've explained this before, I kind of like to have more like a roller coaster effect where if you're on a roller coaster, the roller coaster is going to go, do, 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 and go down. So it goes heads go up before it comes down and we don't want it to ever reach the same peak again. So. Um, and I kind of hear like a wee flam here, sort of like this. Um. Now, the sound I'm using for this is... Um, it is a, a classic nylon guitar from Omnisphere. Let's add a pad on the roads, again, same thing. I uh, bring the velocity down, and you guys watch my videos, you know that we get rid of the melodies here, um, just to... Um, so the pad can play a more concise, consistent tone. And bring the attack of the pad up, I think maybe bring it up as well. Here, bring the frequencies in a bit. That might not even be necessary, so we'll turn it off for now. Go 
support the voice and just um, get some nice sounds here. <laughs> And for those of you asking about the vocals, unfortunately, there's one thing I'm going to keep to myself, and it is the vocals. Um, I just, I want to have something that I can kind of keep as my sort of signature, or um, at least have something that, you know, I'm not telling everyone everything. But you can find stuff like this, like vocal effects like this, anywhere online. Just search, like, vocal VST, and then listen to some ones you like. Um, like, it's, it's honestly really that simple. Let's have this, this only in the second part. Okay, now we're going to go on to the drums. Now the hi-hat, I'm going to just keep a hi-hat here. Maybe not do a snare, I don't know. Um, but again, just keep it very simple drill style. I said we're going to maybe make an experimental drill, so here we are. Um, we don't want to complicate any of this as well, I've said it before, just um, keep it as simple as we can. Uh, maybe that's not sounding too good there, so let's go back on a cell and just... I think this is maybe like a roll here, there. Just like a... Um, I don't know if this 808 is in tune. I think I tuned it. I think I did. Yes, I did. But if it's still out of tune, then my fault. Blame on me. And again, what we're going to do with the 808 here is just bring in the attack, release, sustain, and decay, and pull the hold up. So it plays and stops when we tell it to do so. Put up an octave so we can hear how the notes sound. Actually, you know what? Let's um let's grab these bottom notes here, and we will use this for the away. Excuse me, why aren't you working? Um, now we're going to use these for the away, but that doesn't mean we're going to um copy it. We're going to make um kind of like bounces as well with this. So. Something's weird with this 808, and I don't know what it is. Maybe it's time? No, it's time. And we need to have it cutting itself as well. Maybe it's just um, having problems with the frequency with the roads. It doesn't sound on tune either. So um, I'm going to grab another 808 here quickly. This one's being a bit problematic. You guys seem to like Dawn 808 in the last video again from Vibes Appreciation Kit 6 it is free. Turn the velocity of it up. Make sure it's tuned as well. Go to edit, go to detect pitch regions here. It is, so it should be all good. Again, we're just pulling this airway across here and simply to just add um, add a bit of you know delay a bit of bounce. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now we're going to go two step here, bring this in and double click this to make it a sliding note. Add a bit of a kick here. Don't like this snare, we're going to change it to the snare I always use. <laughs> and this is time, turn the time off. Let's add some um, reverb onto this guitar. I think it's going to take a while to load because it's Omnisphere and my PC is not the best in terms of CPU. So we'll just wait a second here, no problem. Um, again, this beat's turning out very nice. I'm liking the sound of it so far. Very smooth, very relaxed, um, and with a lot of nuances as well. So it's kind of working all of the fields we're wanting it to work in just now. Um, effects, let's add some echo and reverb on this. Okay, sounds nice. Um, remember, keep these in scale as well. You don't have to do this with all the drums, but it definitely helps. And there's too much tail on this, so we're going to bring all of it in like this and just bring the decay up. Let's just have like maybe a um, instead of like a whoop, let's have it going the opposite way. And I've got a perk here from the Martians kit. Maybe too much velocity on this, we're going to turn it down slightly and go to probably A. very simple now again guys beats like this um, are very important with your sound selection stuff so just make sure you're picking good sounds um, and if you're wanting a vocal VST like this again just Google or YouTube best vocal VST um, and pick the one you like um, again I don't want people copying everything I do I'm kind of here to help you guys make your own sound not just you know um, completely copy other people which is why um, a lot of these beats I'm trying to experiment I'm not just making the same sound I'd, I'll tell you how to show you how to make a beat how to make like a style and then hopefully you can put your twist on it not just copying everything the same as other people because that's where I found a lot of difficulty when I was producing and copying other people trying to be like other people so um, yeah just kind of take the style take these ideas um, and I'm going to keep this at C because I like how nice it's sounding. Um, and make your own beats with it. Again, you won't get anywhere copying other people. Uh, remember I said these words. Remember I said these words. I'm going to go to A here. Yeah, that pad, we, that's, we don't need that pad at all there. I'm not going to mix or master this simply because I like how it's sounding now. It's sounding nice, it's sounding clean, it's sounding good. Um, 
I would maybe, like if I was going to be releasing this beat, I would maybe mix and master it, but since it sounds good the way it is, let's just keep it there. And um, we'll quickly uh, split by channel and bring in the sequence step. I don't know what it's called. I always forget the name of this. Um, the structure, and that's it. There we go. So, yep, just keep the structure in here. Now, with structuring, when I was doing reviews for beats and stuff, I noticed um, some of the beats weren't structured that greatly. Um, some were structured very well, some weren't structured greatly. Um, it's fine, we're all at different um, parts of our production life, career, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> production life. It seems like a cheap place that sells you know, beats. Here at Production Life, we sell um, beats for VSTs for $1. Like, anyway. <laughs> so... What was I saying? I've forgotten. Oh yeah, structuring. So structuring again, keep it simple. Um, have different elements coming in at certain points. You don't want a kick playing at the start, for example. Maybe the vocals just bring it in after, like here. And accents and stuff, keep them um, in certain sections. <laughs> Even bring the hi hats just a bit forward here, maybe to add a bit of um, excitement. a bit of um, reverb on this guitar as well. I mean, not reverb, um, delay. I'm going to just bring it into the mixer here by hitting Control L once we have the channel selected and going to delay. And just so the um, melody doesn't get too stale, because obviously it's playing the same one, and if I had a bit more time, I would make the second section of the um, guitar it's different. Um, but since you know we're just making a tutorial here, I'm going to create an automation clip and just gross beat it. It might sound terrible, it might not, and um, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we can use that as an intro as well. It was like an accident there, but it still works. Ah, so just by doing that by accident as well, I noticed that maybe if we do like this, this might sound a bit better. So again, just simple things like that with the hi-hats. So we'll do that and then we'll maybe just fade it out here. Um, very simple stuff. Just having fun guys again. If you're not having fun with making beats, you're doing it wrong. Anyway guys, it was fun for um, for while it lasted and yeah again just simple stuff, experiment with drill, that kind of jumpy drill sound can go well with a lot of beats so don't just be 
um, in the assumption that you know you can just make you only have to make um, piano patterns and that's it. You can make very chill stuff like this, and I know it wasn't technically drill, but um, yeah, it's um, it gets you, gets the job done. And if you're if the beats sound nice, then who really cares? Um, but that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, um, leave a like, leave a comment. A lot of people that are watching these videos don't subscribe, unfortunately, but. If um, you're one of the people watching this and you hear this, please subscribe as it does help a million times. It helps a million times. <laughs> That's probably the worst pitch I've ever heard. But anyway, please subscribe. Let me know how you felt in the comments. Did you like this video? Video? Did you hate it? Let me know. Um, precision kit available now in the top right of the video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one I do.